the chaos first spilled onto the platform as morning commuters struggled to comprehend what was happening. This was a mass shooting on the world's largest subway. There were multiple victims lying on the ground awaiting the arrival of paramedics. From inside a carriage, it appears a smoke bomb was first released. And then what appeared to be the sound of gunfire. Above ground, police sealed off several blocks of Brooklyn as they tried to establish whether this was a mass shooting or a terrorist attack. The police commissioner was quick to calm the city's nerves. There are currently no known explosive devices on our subway trains, and this is not being investigated as an act of terrorism at this time. The governor said this was a time to finally act against the wave of gun violence sweeping across America. And we say no more, no more mass shootings, no more disrupting lives, no more creating heartbreak for people just trying to live their lives as normal New Yorkers. It has to end, and it ends now. This may not have been terror as some define it, but it was horror on the subway, bringing fear to the daily commute and highlighting the senseless gun violence that is so common here. Robert Moore, ITV News, in the United States.